Let's draw the Lewis structure for copper to chloride. Copper comes from the left-hand side of this staircase. It is a metal. Chlorine is from the right-hand side of the staircase. It's a non-metal. The reason that's important is that metals combine with non-metals to make ionic compounds, and that is a transfer of electrons from one atom to another, always from metal to non-metal. Now to show this happening, you have to know how many valence electrons copper brings. And for non-metals, it's easy. In group 17, they all bring seven valence electrons. In group 16, they all bring six. But here in the transition metal block, each of these atoms can have more than one charge. So whatever the charge is on the atom itself is how many valence electrons you draw. Copper 2 chloride, I want you to draw copper with two valence electrons, 1, 2. That 2 is also where this 2 comes from, because the formula is made by crisscrossing the charges. Chlorine brought a charge of minus 1, copper brings a charge of plus 2. Anyways, copper 2 chloride brings two valence electrons. Chlorine, on the other hand, is in group 17, so draw it with seven valence electrons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now the other thing you need to know is that non-metals want eight electrons in their outer shell to be stable. That's called the octet rule, and it makes them similar to noble gases, stable. So where is chlorine going to get its eighth electron? Well, copper, the metal, will gladly donate one for the cause. That's going to complete the octet on this chlorine atom. But this copper still has an extra electron. Where can that go? You're going to need a second chlorine atom with its seven valence electrons to absorb that. That way, the copper now has no valence electrons left and each of the non-metals you've drawn has a full octet. The completed Lewis structure here will show your copper in the center with no electrons. It has a charge of plus two because you lost two negatively charged electrons, and when you subtract minuses, you get plus. Now, likewise, the chlorines need to get drawn with the full eight electrons because they brought seven and took one from the copper. That is one extra electron or a minus one charge, and I want you to draw that on both sides of the copper. So here you have it, two chlorines and one copper to make copper two chloride with the formula CuCl2. It's not a mistake or a coincidence that the formula is CuCl2. You need two chlorines to absorb the valence electrons from a copper two ion. Oh yeah, nice, thanks for sticking with me and best of luck.